caused by careless smoking. A few times a year we hear about those lists, lists of unclaimed money just waiting for someone to say, hey, that's mine. Now Maryland's comptroller is trying to make it even easier to reunite people with their cash. You don't have to scour lists or fill out forms. You just have to open your mailbox. State comptroller Peter Francho joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? It's good to see you. Well, All it's right. nice to be here. And we're not going to deliver every check personally, okay. but uh, uh, we are adopting a whole new aggressive approach to unclaimed property. We have almost three quarters of a billion dollars of Marylanders' money. It comes to us from the private sector uh, because they can't locate uh, many times who the beneficiaries of life insurance policies or they open up a safe deposit box for someone passes away and there's there's there there are stocks in there and sure. they can't they can't find the right owner so they give it to the state we hold it and we go out and try to find uh, people and reunite them with their lost property okay. which is rightfully theirs and uh, now we're, we're we've had this website up so everybody kind of checks on the website they can go to Maryland taxes and see whether they're owed money but we've decided to match that with the tax records. And when we find a match, we're sending the check right to our Maryland citizens. And we're talking $50, $60 million a year that my office is returning uh, to uh, taxpayers, and it's tax-free. It is a wonderful plan, and people love to get the money, obviously. But we live in a day and age where people are suspicious. There are so many scams. How do people know when they get something in the mail that it is true, it is real, it's really from you? Well, it's funny because there is such a skepticism out there. We're mailing out a thousand uh, letters unsolicited a month right. with checks. And a lot of people are calling up and saying, is this legitimate? I don't blame so, them. So they could call uh, our office and confirm, but these checks are real that we're sending out. Okay. And uh, we urge people to uh, just uh, understand what they're getting and many times people don't even know what the lost property is because it uh, they weren't aware of it uh, but these are no these are this is real money real dollars it's it's not part of uh, some overseas uh, internet scam this is a um, this is money coming that you that rightfully belongs to Marylanders okay. I want to get to something real quickly because we've been talking today about people driving less right and that means less money is coming into the state what does the state need to do to counteract the the loss of taxes because we are asking people to conserve and it right. makes sense that people are are cutting back what is going to happen here because well, we need this money to keep the state going well we have a big fiscal problem uh, sales tax are way down along mm -hmm. with gas taxes, so are income taxes mm -hmm. way down. Uh, I think we have to have an allegiance to the taxpayer here. We don't have to just necessarily automatically fill every reduction in, in deficit. We had, uh, as you recall, we had a record tax increase mm -hmm. the governor put in it, right as we were going into the recession. Now we've got these escalating fuel costs and food costs and, and uh, utility rate hikes. And, and the icing on the cake, Jennifer, is that a year from now, when we're supposed to be coming out of the recession, they're going to impose slot machines, which are going to take billions of dollars out of the uh, economy. I'm saying to people, let's take a break on tax increases and let's have a little bit of allegiance to the taxpayer who's really pinched right now, and let's reform state spending. But uh, you you're put your finger on a big problem because as the recession develops, revenues from gas tax, sales tax, uh, income tax are all going to decline. But why reward out-of-control spending in Annapolis by giving them more money? Why not say, look, let's uh, tighten our belts and do what the private sector does, which is adjust our spending. All right, Comptroller, I wish we had more time, but we'll talk about this more on another day.